Let's now answer the last question, which says, Abby, Barb, Cathal, and Dean are four workers at a business. Each worker will perform one duty. The time for each worker to complete duties one, two, three, four in minutes is shown in the table below. The minimum total time for all activities is 19 minutes, with Dean performing duty two. Before the duties are performed, it's found that Dean will require seven minutes for duty two rather than three minutes. If the duties are allocated again, the minimum total time for all duties will be which of these? So what we're saying now is that this is now seven. How is that going to impact the total amount of time that it's going to take uh, to complete it now? Now, if you're now, this is the last question of the exam. So if you're running out of time and you're thinking to yourself, I know I need to do the Hungarian algorithm here, but I'm not going to have time to do the Hungarian algorithm. Have a educated guess if you're running out of time. So for instance, if we start at the bottom here, well, if Dean is no longer going to do three, he should probably do four, right? Because that's my next smallest. Cathal should do his smallest, which is four. Now, Barb, uh, Barb would, you'd want her to do six, but you can't do six because Dean is doing six. That means you're stuck with 12. 12 is a huge number. So what I would be thinking here, what if Dean instead did five and then Barb could do six and then Abby could do five? That looks pretty good to me. You know, I can't be 100% certain it's correct. The Hungarian algorithm would give me complete certainty. But if I was running out of time, I've had a good educated guess there. I could go five plus five is 10 plus four is 14 plus six would be 20. It was originally 19, now it's 20. I've increased it by one minute. That would be my guess. But if you've got time, you might as well do the Hungarian algorithm. So let's do the Hungarian algorithm. Remember that your first step is your row reduction. You find the smallest number, which is five, and then you reduce everything by five. That will become one, that will become zero, that will become one, that will become three. The smallest number here is six. This will become three, this will become six, this will become four, this will become zero. The smallest number here is four. This will become four, this will become three, this will become zero, this will become two. The smallest number here is four. This will become one, this will become uh, three, this will become two, this will become zero. Sorry, I had a blank, blank, blank there for a second. Uh, let's now go again. I'm going to do a column reduction. The smallest one in this column is one. This will become zero. This will become two. This will become three. This will become zero. The smallest one is zero here. So everything stays the same. I've got a zero there. It all stays the same. I've got a zero there. It all stays the same. Having now done that, I'm going to see if I can draw some lines through these things. Remember, you want to keep your eye on the zeros, the eye on the zeros. All right. Can I draw a line through all these zeros here? Well, I would put I will line through both of these. And then do you see how all of these are on different lines? I, I, I could do this, this, and this. I definitely, I need four lines, which means I'm done because I need four lines, which is fantastic uh, because now I can identify who needs to do what job. Barb has to do that one because it's her only zero. Cathal has to do that one because it's their only zero. Dean has to do duty one because this is only zero. That means Abby has to do duty two because they can't do duty one because Dean's doing duty one. Abby has to do duty two. Then we could just count, uh, add up the numbers that we see beneath them. So like five plus five is 10 plus four is 14 plus six is 20. Remember we started with 19. Now it's gone to 20 minutes. We've added one minute. So B is my answer. So my, my, uh, my inspection method at the very beginning did pay off, but there you go. We've just proved it to ourselves. If we look at our examiner's report here, you can just see that, you know, they've given us here the initial allocation, which was 19 minutes, the new allocation, which is 20 minutes. The initial allocation was 19 minutes. Correction to Dean by duty two, duty two gives the total time to 20 minutes, increase of one minute. And that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful. Bye.